You know, what are your no goes? Because a lot of guys are always talking about, you know, Marquette, you get girls, but that's because you're tall or that's because you're well off or yeah. that's because you dress well. Like, why don't you dress like an average person and go get girls? I'm what like, does that mean? Or they'll say like, you know, what if you're balding? Because, you know, I'm, I'm the bald head lover. You did. So they'll say, you know, I can't get a girl because of this or that. So what are your no goes to where you're like, you know, what, bro, if you have this, you're out of the game. You're not getting the draws. Like like height, like physical or. Yeah. Anything circumstantial that like they can't really control. Change. Yeah. Um, I don't really have a type. I've dated the six, seven athlete. Okay. I've dated, I'm five, seven. I've dated okay. guys who are five, seven. I've dated guys who are five, nine, mm. white, redheaded, mm. black, bald. I mm. don't have a type for me. It's more personality and approach. Mm -hmm. And like, I like kind of like what you were saying. I don't, I don't actually want to like tie femininity to men, but I like a more masculine like vibe, you know, like okay. I like to feel like if something pops off, you can protect me. Right. It doesn't matter how small or tall you are. Yeah. Like, the tallest guy I've dated, I feel like he was like way more pussy than I was. Ah. So, ah. you know, I really do appreciate that kind of manly masculine energy. But I think for men who feel like, you know, they have something that they can't necessarily control, just own it and like, just be confident with it. Right. Because there's a million, there's a million men who look a certain way, but have like the baddest women on their arm because they're right. just good people. So good people. I, I don't know. Good men. Didn't think she was about to say that. Good actually. men. <laughs> <laughs> You're a really good man. <laughs> I'd like to be with you and sleep with you <laughs> for your goodness. Um, yeah, I like what you're pointing out because I feel like it's fundamental in as much as like the one thing I appreciate about masculinity is like at a certain level, you just don't give a fuck. You know, like women might say, you know, let me get my wig tight. I'm going to go get a blowout or I'm going to go do X, Y, and Z to make sure that I look this way. I'm going to put on my makeup. As a man, you might just wake up like, look. Okay, yeah, I agree. Like, I do like a guy. So this actually just happened last week. I went on a first date and then like an extended portion of the first date happened the next night. For okay. like, it was a show. We went for like two, three hours. Okay. He, I don't think he expected me to show up wearing what I was wearing or, you know, coming. You, what were you wearing? Just dressing for success, you know, like. <laughs> What do you mean? Okay. It's the first okay. date. First impressions mean everything. So uh -huh. I could tell he didn't put much thought into his outfit. He was also like 10 minutes late and that pissed me off. Oh, um, so anger. I asked him like, why are you late? Oh, was there you traffic? confronted him. Yeah. He told me to be there at a time and I was there at a time. She confronting people so out the, here. Yeah. Anyways. And he was like, I was like, what's your reason? He's like, I don't have a good reason. I was just late. I was nice. like, okay, I can tell. Wrinkled ass shirt. So oh, the my. next day we went to a show. He looked so much better. If it was late, you were mad that you well day. he that was gonna say he redeemed himself throughout the date and then i was still a little bit curious so i said yes to that portion i was like sure i'll go to a show why not yeah i don't have plans oh this is comedy so the next day he was great and then i'm just like you know what that's that's it you gotta come like with intention so i'm gonna i'm gonna take him out the game for you and this is why marquette is sitting him on the bench because number one there's a level to being comfortable with who you are. Mm -hmm. Like I, the homie I grew up with from my neighborhood, like Quet, bro, you got the bag, bro. You like if you wanted to get your whole hairline like right here, you could go pay and get that done. Like it's easy work. I was like, yeah, I could, but and I don't find that women care either. Mm -hmm. But one thing I won't do is you're not gonna see me out in the public not looking appropriate because that would be a misrepresentation of Marquette. Devon my mother Burton. would be so mad. Yeah. Like I, I, I was raised that way. I'm a mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm an army brat, but my mom always told me like, have pride in your appearance. Cause people, right. you know, we didn't just like work our asses off just to get you, get you to this point And then you yeah. like go out looking crazy. Yeah. So that it's always stuck with me. I would love for my man to also value that or men in general, maybe try it, maybe put some effort into, you know, appearance because appearance is first impression. That's part of it. Now, mind you, I'm talking about grooming. I'm not talking about brands. I'm not talking about jewelry. Exactly. I'm just talking about grooming being neat. Neat. Right. And so you said he had a wrinkled shirt on. Now, when you pull yes. up for the first date in the wrinkled shirt, it's just that's not righteous right there. Mm -mm. That's why I'm taking him out the game. You still went on that second date. So I'm assuming you wanted to see the show. You was like, oh, wait, the, I tickets, like shoes the seats too. are where? Yeah. <laughs> um, now, what were the shoes? He had some like cute. He had a story with him. They're okay. like these Burberry like sneakers. Mm -hmm. And it was wrinkled. Like I can tell he just kind of pulled it out of his closet. Yeah. It wasn't like wrinkled, like crumbly. I would never. Uh -huh. It just looked like he put in half ass effort. <laughs> Got you, so, got you. Okay, all yeah, right, fair I enough. I have you read this one. You'll be better at that. Hey, yo, <laughs> Tiana. Pete the Pimpin' in the Crush Velvet Jitty. I love Peace it. Peace to the Saints. It's so good. True indeed.